What's up, y'all? What's up? This is the new Anything Goes podcast. Anything goes. And I do mean anything goes. Yes, sir. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Big Ski. Big Ski, baby. The other host is Dusty Joe. Dusty Joe. And we got house. a special co-host from time to time, my boy Neil Ray, that'll be tapping in Neil with us. Ray. Man, we talking about it all. So welcome to the show, baby. I'm on the block and get it hot. Niggas crazy, niggas crazy. Stripping like yo, 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 what up, y'all? This your boy Big Ski. This your boy Dusty Joe. Your boy Neil Ray. Man, and I'm we here, back bro. with another episode of Anything Goes. Today, what? like anything goes. No. Fuck, fuck your team Sunday? Okay, well, shit. Or fuck your feelings Sunday? Both of them. I'm with it. Happy holiday weekend? Oh, it is a holiday weekend. True. Guess what? I ain't got a gripe for the weekend. I ain't got to go to work tomorrow. We start there. You know what? You you worked real hard last week. I give you a day off tomorrow. No pay. I mean, no pay. <laughs> then you got me fucked up. Somebody gonna pay something. Full pay. Oh, okay. Now we talking. Shit, I meant to say full pay, but no pay. Well, since I jumped out early with the gripes, y'all got any gripes? Yeah, man. I can't complain I ain't got no bro, right now. Yeah, I can't hey, that's because ain't none of us got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Had niggas had to go to work tomorrow. Okay. Niggas ha- being this motherfucker griped up. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Happy Grappling Sunday. Man, that's something new. <laughs> I don't know if I like it, but yeah. it's new. Hey, man, but before we get the show started, man, I want to say rest in peace to one of the homies, man. The homie Ty Fu Panda, a comedian, you know what I'm saying, out of uh, Kansas City. The homie passed away this week. So, hey, rest in peace, Ty Fu, man. We love you, bro. You will be missed. Hella funny, too, man. Rest in oh. peace. Man, rest, rest in peace. peace, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my boy Roy Anthony gave me the call this week, and it, it hurt, man. It, it broke us down. Ty Fuad came to the house, man, and you know I'm a Raider fan. So he fucked around and went home and sent me a Kansas City hat. I'm like, nigga, I ain't wearing this. <laughs> Fuck this hat. <laughs> this guy. I was, hey, but, I was gotta be somebody, huh? Yeah, somebody gotta do something. Hey, man, rest in peace, Ty Fu Panda, man. So he was That's a comedian? Amazing. Yeah, he was a comedian, bro. You can find some of his work on uh, YouTube, man. He got a few videos up there, man. Go fuck with the homie shit, man. Typhu. Typhu Panda. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, how's your weekend going, bro? Very, very non-productive. Again? Like always. <laughs> you know my Saturdays are my Saturdays. Okay. Yeah. I don't do shit on Saturdays. Just relax. You know, we, we basically work Sunday through Friday, so. Mm-hmm. But Sunday is the day we enjoy working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's podcast. Well, after the podcast, I still got to work. Yeah. <laughs> right, Some man. Shit, how you weekend going, man? Man, it's going smooth. Like I said, man, I can't complain. We've just been with family for real, just chilling, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm I- like, yeah, it's a wrap, though, man. Like you said, ain't no work tomorrow. So I'm going to just chill out. Y'all doing anything for the holiday? Uh, me personally, nah. I'm not doing too much. You know. Yeah. yeah. No cooking? No, no. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of cooking. I get an extra you know. day to relax. So you ain't doing shit? I ain't doing shit. Man. You know what? This, for the first time, I'm not really doing anything for the holiday too, bro. We ain't cooking or none of that because we still getting ready for my daughter's uh, champagne party, which is next weekend. So money tied up and you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I ain't got time to be doing other shit too. Fuck this. And speaking of uh, champagne parties, I want to say, hey, Nye, hey, my niece, uh, Anaya, went to her prom last night. My brother Wayne, daughter, man. That's she looked up. very pretty yesterday. Nye, you was beautiful, mama. I hope you had a great time last night. You said your money's tied up. You know somebody won like $250,000 on a lottery ticket. It wasn't here. me, motherfucker. Did you check your ticket? Yes, I won oh, a okay. dollar, nigga. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I won a motherfucking buck. I won nine. I split it with you. <laughs> man. Hey. Yo, nine by one, we got ten, Ray. You, Come on, you got man. anything thrown the pot? I ain't even play with Fucking shit. loser. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, man. I fuck around and made sure I ran up in there and got me tickets and shit. Nigga, I want a fucking dollar. I said, damn. Come fuck on. Fuck this work. At least give me back what I spent. Hey, Come bro, on, bro. Bro, would you believe me if I told you I got like 12 uh, lottery fucking tickets in my wallet? Uh-huh. And it's like 50 bucks, and I still ain't um, traded them in. What you waiting on? 
I don't know. Man, man it's a high I, 50. I said, shit, you still one ahead of me, bro. Shit, I'm like, nigga, zero for zero. <laughs> Hey uh, shit, nigga! <laughs> I ain't scared money don't make hey, money though, man. Hey, you know what? I, I want to take I want to take them somewhere and cash them all in. I'm scared that somebody's gonna be like, "Oh, you can't do it." Yeah, bro, I would, bro. What do them? Got them? Do them have to split them up, Joe? Man, shit! But fifty bucks? I mean, anybody can give you fifty bucks. Facts. Give me fifty bucks. Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> nigga, give my fifty bucks for your goddamn tickets now. I gotta go. Uh -uh. I'm not finna go cash in shit. Take, I'm gonna keep my. Give me forty then. Hey. Oh man, you talking? <laughs> <laughs> shit, nigga, I get an extra 10 on that, nigga. I'm at the store in the morning. No, shit. Nigga, shit, matter of fact, nigga, I'm at the store today. Nigga, hey, cash out. Nigga, cash me oh, out. Uh, Good boy, bro. I'll give you 10 bucks for your time. Hey, I'll take it then. <laughs> now you talking. Nigga, you want that 50? How you want 50? You want it a solid? You want it a... Uh, uh, small bills. Small bills. Small, <laughs> small unmarked bills. Nigga, is you hiding from somebody? <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, man. Joe is on the run. This nigga is not fucking with no large bills. Don't <laughs> do it. Hey, bro, I was reading this motherfucking story, bro. We covered a story uh, a few weeks back where a motherfucker worked at UPS. He did his whole shift. He come outside and he get gunned down in the parking lot. And we yeah. talked about that. We was like, damn, nigga, you you gonna kill me after the shift? Nigga, yeah, I'm gonna have lunch, bro. all this other shit. Uh -huh, nigga, you man. gonna wait till I don't work the whole, the whole shift. shift, man. And kill me. So it was this other story That's that just crazy. happened in Irvine, bro, yeah. where, uh, it was between friends. One guy, he was on disability, but he was friends with another uh, person that still worked at UPS. So the dude was on his route. He delivering his packages and all this other shit. The other guy that was on disability, they got him on camera coming into the facility, and he on the computer pulling up shit, and he take a picture. He was taking a picture of his homeboy, Rock. So Damn, he was on disability. Mm -hmm. He was off work, mm -hmm. but he was in the office. He was scheduled to come back uh, on the 1st. So Maybe they had him come in there to clear some shit. I don't know. Do some paperwork and shit. Maybe. But he had access to the fucking... He had access to the computer. He checked the computer, seen Homeboy route, took a picture of it. He went and found Homeboy on the route. Now, these are friends. He found this dude on the route, shot him 14 times in the, in the uh, truck. Dude was still strapped in and shit. Yeah. Shot him 14 times, bro. On the job? Yeah. Like, you know what? Get him shot 14 times. I bet you was behind a female. Yeah, that's you think he was fucking his girl? Maybe. Strong feelings behind that. That's it. I bro. think I think that'd be one of the things yeah. that'll pull it out of a nigga Come to on. make him go kill somebody if you fucking this girl. Too shit. What they say? What they call it? An act of passion. Man. Mm. But my understand. My, my my thing is though, these dudes. If your girl's fucking around on you, that pussy gotta be fire. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> that pussy gotta be fire, Joe. <laughs> I'm fucking nigga up for some good pussy. Oh, okay, never mind. Then. Nah, Fuck, go ahead. Go ahead. Like, I'm just saying, I, I was gonna say, why fire? take it out on the dude? Because yeah. he got to sample some of my fire. But she hey. gave it up. Okay, I'm not thinking about that, Joe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nigga, I'm traumatized. I'm like, what? This nigga had my fire? Nigga, no. He ain't finna tell nobody how good this shit is. Yo. <laughs> nigga, fuck that. Remember, the only way a guy can have fucked her is because she let him. Joe, I'm not thinking like that. I'm mad at the motherfucker. Uh, your friend. How long were they friends? I don't know. They said they was long time friends though. I don't know how long they were friends. Yeah. But that'll make it that'll make some shit happen though. True. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Well, if a nigga owe me money, yeah, and he paying everybody say. but me. Man. Nigga, and this it's past your due date, nigga. I need my bread. Come on, man. How, yeah, that's why I'm like, man, yeah. how much bread you can borrow, man? You know what I mean? Like, hold up. So Joe think uh, it was some bomb ass pussy, man. I think it was over money. What you think? Yeah, it could be the order me, but that money stuff, man. I don't think he. I don't think it's on that. You know what I'm saying? That's too. You think it might be the? It pussy? might be the. Yeah, it gotta be the Ooh, chick, bro. She I ain't gonna gave lie, some bro. Fire head. He done found him on the route on the job, like you know. Yeah, people you. Looking for now she bro. gonna fuck somebody else. Both yeah, you, you, on you, yeah. you. You basically hunted that motherfucker down. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Yeah. Joe, that That's shit, tough right there. he finna do a gang of time, bro. Come on. He finna do a gang of time for that shit. I don't know what what would make a person do it besides pussy or money. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know. Or or if you done fuck with my kids. Yeah. That's yeah. like the or one at the top of the list. Yeah. If you done fuck with my kids, then all right, nigga. There's no coming back. It's me, it's you. Hey, it's finna go down. So my kids will be at the top of the list, family. That's real. And then it'll have to be pussy and then it have to be yeah. money. 
You know what I'm saying? But kids first. I'm not even going to think. Well, I ain't going to think straight up the pussy good either, nigga. I'm like, see it. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? The money, I probably have to figure that out. Like, oh, okay, you won't get What's a politically kids? correct word to say retarded? Slow. I you don't discombobulated know, like, you all, the right all the way around. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you. Well, <laughs> shit. I'm just saying, nigga. I'm telling you, nigga. If if a nigga fuck with your kids, you gonna crash You ain't gonna out, just man. go hey. zero to a hundred. Definitely. Yeah, you what about crash you? Out. Definitely. If, if you intentionally yeah, fuck you, with my kids, I'm not gonna give it no thought, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Come zero on. to a hundred. I'm on. I don't give a fuck. I don't care if this motherfucker bigger than me, littler than me, or uglier than me, or whatever the fuck the case may be. If you fuck with my kids, zero to a hundred. Yeah, if you intentionally fuck with my kids, even if it's, it's the law, bro, story. I don't give a fuck. Zero to a hundred. But I'm gonna go ahead. Speaking go of law, let me ask you something. Uh huh. What would you do? You got a, you got a. Your boy's eighteen, right? Nineteen. He just 19, turned nineteen. Okay. Say your son was still seventeen years old. Okay. And he was at one of these street takeovers. Okay. And he gets arrested. Mm -hmm. At a street takeover. At a street takeover. Was he actually doing donuts and all this other shit? Hold on, let me get there. Okay, why well, right, Joe? Was she speed it up, nigga? There. But was he just there? He was yeah. trying to snatch the cop. Out, the cops show up. He's trying to snatch the cop out the car and carjack him. They didn't kill oh. him. They arrested him. He That's lucky. Crazy. They he didn't kill him. Lucky man, bro. What would you do if I was the parent? Mm -hmm. Lock his dumb ass up. This nigga need to learn. How the fuck you gonna assault a police? Because that's assault. That once is. you touch a police, yeah. if it ain't shaking this motherfucker hand, once you touch them, they gonna say it was assault. Kid in the Inland Empire Easy too. was at a street yeah. takeover and tried to fucking carjack a cop. And you said I was retorted? <laughs> no, I, 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 I did not say. I did not say you were you retarded. You said I was slow? Uh, no, I, I said you was discombobulated. <laughs> well, this nigga need to be on the yellow bus and his parents too. <laughs> Man, bro, that's tough. Make it a family that affair. That little motherfucker ain't too many crayons. Make it a family affair, Joe. I'm just saying. The motherfuckers I know mm -hmm. and their kids know that you ain't supposed to touch no motherfucking police. You ain't supposed to try to help no motherfucker out the car. What was he gonna say? Oh, I thought it something was wrong. Nah, I'm trying was, to help him out. You know how the cops you know how the cops pull up into the street takeover to try to stop it. Nah, they fucking started Joe, jumping. They started jumping all over in the Empire. Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe you let it happen in Compton. Nigga, they gonna shoot every kid and the parent that's right there in the vicinity. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> nigga, they gonna be in the airport jumping over Yo, the gate to shoot niggas. Man, for real though. He touched you? <laughs> man. Oh, nigga, it's going down. And then it, the action alone, you pulling him out of his car like Yeah, bro, nigga, that's that's <laughs> all kind of You know the video I seen? That's crazy. It doesn't show them him checking pulling them out. They okay. show them fucking banging on the windows and kicking the doors and Good enough, you're assaulting a police vehicle. Fuck it. Yeah. Nigga, I'm shooting. And everybody in the comment, and everybody life. in the fucking comment section, like, why didn't they shoot him? Why didn't they shoot him? They should have shot him. Yeah, that nigga, he, 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 he internal affairs probably already on this nigga ass, and he can't get one more incident. <laughs> 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 it's a wrap, <laughs> nigga. He if he spit on the ground, he out of here. And then the that crazy part. part after they shoot him, they're gonna be like, oh, little Johnny was a, such a good pillar of the community. He was such a good kid. He's not gonna go to church tomorrow. Man. He asked him, can he just wipe his windows? He wasn't <laughs> banging on him. <laughs> No, nigga, I seen the video, the footage. This nigga deserved that bullet in his ass. You know, I'm some, not gonna do no stupid shit. Some of these kids That's nowadays, crazy, they, they got no, so no, home, no home training. <laughs> hey, no so, real, so do you, do you do you blame that on the parents? Hell how, yeah. How they raise them? So you think? Hell yeah. My kids ain't finna go fuck with no police car with the police in it. That's real. So, so would you it's think it's how they raised them, or yes. Yes. or or on, what, hold on? Fuck you, mean hold on. Or, yes. do, or do you think it's just a lack of attention? It's how they raise these motherfuckers, Joe. Yeah. It's a lot of kids that don't get no attention. And some of the attention they get, they don't want. It's the way you raise your ki your kids, bro. My kids are respectful. My, my kids, my, my girls they, are they too. They think twice before they do certain shit. A lot of these kids who parents is only 15 years older than them, they don't fucking know shit because they parents didn't know shit. It's the way you raise these little motherfuckers. So you think they need a good ass whooping? Hell yeah. I need, I think they, I got a belt. On, I whoop man. everybody, fuck it. <laughs> Walk around this bitch like Pootie Tang, just get the fucking niggas up, fuck I it. See, that's, that's, that, that's the crazy part nowadays. These little kids can automatically, you can't hit me. Oh, yeah. I call the cops. the shit out of kid. Um, well, child abuse, oh, you know. Man. Push the shit out of, I uppercut the fuck out of a kid talking shit. Even these kids nowadays, they pull that shit at school. 
and you they get away with it. You can't put your hands on me. Uppercut that motherfucker and don't leave a mark, and then it's your word against his. Come on, bro. Outside of a camera. Fuck it. <laughs> you know why? I think that's why they don't make phone books no more. Because niggas got away with it. You know what I'm saying? Now, because every... you used to get fucked up with a phone book and it didn't leave a mark. <laughs> <laughs> but nowadays, everybody got a camera, bro, so they going to be filming everything. Yeah. For real. You know what I'm saying? They film it all, bro. I don't even know where the fuck these motherfuckers... They worse than TMZ around this bitch. They oh, got shit. all the good angles. Like, nigga, where the fuck was you at? And that's the crazy happen? part. They do. Man. Nigga, I need help. Nigga, you out there with a fucking camera. You trying to get paid. You want to go viral. Nigga, your post only got 30 views. Bitch, you could have helped me. Uh, Maybe two ass whippers would have got you viral, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then you got 30 views and you sharing this motherfucker a thousand times. Niggas ain't looking for you, but you take this ass whooping with a nigga, and I swear somebody else filming it, nigga, to help. He's going to be the hero. And it works. Everybody <laughs> loves a hero, Joe. Everybody loves a hero. I don't give a fuck what you do. If you fuck around and walk in a grocery store, an uh, uh, elderly person falls, slip, and bust their ass over an ice cream or a puddle of water, and well, you I'm help, them, help up, them up, you're a hero. Yeah, I'm going to help him up. You're a hero. Let me ask you one thing. What? You were talking about something before we got on air. I talk about a lot of shit before we get on the air. The 99 cent story incident. Oh. oh what would man. you do if you see something well, like that? Yeah, see, that's... Yeah. Wait, matter of fact, it that's was tough, a uh, 99 cent. I think it was a dollar tree. It was a dollar tree. Oh, okay. Uh, it's yeah. just a fucking 99 cent store. They don't have 99 cent stores no more. Dollar Tree even got... Dollar uh, Tree ain't even got dollar items. Yeah, you know, <laughs> for real. <laughs> hey, but it was a, a They should a call woman. it dollars. Man, it was a woman and her friend. They were in Texas, and they were in a, a Dollar Tree. And they left that motherfucker just in a raid. I mean, it was some bullshit going on. A motherfucker ejaculated on the back of one of the women on her on her shirt. Wait, wait. You said... Yeah, I, that's what I said. You said they left. Yes, yeah, she went home and took a shower. She felt like dirty. So how... how, how <laughs> How does she know somebody nutted on her back? I don't know if her friend told her or whatever because it was two women. They How does she the know the, the friend didn't nut on her back? I'm like, well, <laughs> the nigga could have sneezed maybe and, and, yeah. and some shit came up. But she was like, nah, the nigga jizzed on her. That nigga, he like, ah, ha, ha. He, he so they her. seen him. I, I don't know if they actually seen him or whatever, but she, she said the nigga came on her back. That's Joe, the nigga walking too, through bro. Dollar Tree, this, probably, this yeah. nigga yakking. Do they have, he, like, video? I don't know, Joe. So how All did... I know is the nigga went where it was some kind of lubricant. That nigga trying that <laughs> shit the fuck out, and it worked. So they don't know if a dude really did it. It's probably cameras. But her Man, friend okay. helped her get the shit off. How did the friend know what it was? I don't know. Maybe she stepped back like, girl, that's not. I don't know. Did nigga, she smell I went it? There. <laughs> did she she might have did a taste did test. Did she taste it? I don't know. <laughs> Like, I'm familiar with it. I had it last night. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck she did, Joe. The story just said that the nigga ja ejaculated on the back of her shirt. Her homegirl so cleaned the motherfucker So they out until they left. That's, that's where I'm kind of... Now, I'm assuming she cleaned it off inside the store and probably reported it. Oh, okay. Yeah, but but so they wound up arresting the dude. Oh, shit. okay. So the dude yeah. was... Okay. They was well, when you through, first said it, they when they searching left. They were searching through the nigga DNA on the shirt. The, the <laughs> man just sticking with the nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, this nigga ain't gonna keep jizzing on people, what, Was man. she, like, bent over? Joe, I don't know, but I think she left happy. <laughs> was was he, like, 12 feet tall? <laughs> Joe, I don't know. She could have been as tall as his table. It don't matter. He if had the a nigga yakking he... right and he point up, it's gonna, it's gonna explode. Did he have Unless a, you got a, a did, did he, sperm. Did he have a dick the size of a fucking water hose? Joe. What? We need questions. We need answers to these questions. I don't. <laughs> Some shit I just reported now. Was, was he a it. fucking sniper? Joe, I don't know, Joe. He had good aim. The report said the nigga jizzed on her motherfucking shirt. I don't know if it was a fizzle or if it was a splash or I don't know. Did he get in her hair? It says shirt. Well, that's what I'm saying. How did Joe, I Did she move her hair out the way? Did <laughs> Joe, the story say the nigga jizzed on her. Her homegirl wiped the shit off. She went home and took a shower because she felt dirty. That's what the shit said. That's wild. Bro. In the headlines, did it say Dirty Diana got jizzed on No, I back? said Dirty Diana, but she, she felt dirty than a motherfucker. So she went home like, girl, I got to get this shit off me. I don't know where this nigga's sperm went. It could have had yeah, fucking gonorrhea true. or some shit. So, in it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You, now my shirt fucked up. You are completely correct. Yeah, so she didn't want to walk around with a fucked up shirt. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the rest of the day. She might have just came out. At least she didn't get it in your eye. Oh, man. Okay, Joe. I'm just saying. She had lashes on. That's why, huh? Probably. Probably. <laughs> hey, man, I don't know where the fuck this shit come from, but leave it up to Joe. He always got something for you. <laughs> hey, fuck it. Hey, bro. Well, we, got we are, are going to corner the market and lashes. Watch. Hey, you know what? Anything goes cumbrellas. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we going to get the lash. Hey, we got a lash for your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want big? You want small? You, we got We got different sizes. Hey, everybody that need eyelashes, y'all get in touch with us in about a year or so, and we're going to have anything goes cumbrellas. You can name it whatever the fuck you want. We're going to have a pretty package and all that shit. Yeah. You know oh, what man. I'm saying? In a year from now. Hey, we got somebody that, that can test it out, too. Oh, my boy in uh, the Dollar Tree. There Is you that go. a shirt here go for your face, and then you had a cumbrella? There hey, you man, we're going to work this shit. Man. Hey, bro, man, we got a video, man. I don't know, do we? Joe, I don't know, man. Hey, it's, we got a couple of homies, man. That's busy, man. I think we got one right here, Joe. I do got one. All right, run that. We got a we got a brand new one by um, Urge Seven. Okay. Urge is busy. Hey, run that, Joe. Death. Fifty-two cards, nigga. Shuffle your deck, and you believe her when she say she gon' love you forever. Till the rooster in the hen house ruffle of feathers. Tight as half these rappers in the game with no deal. Hot out the pot, mixed stick like oatmeal. Hopped out the car, bitch thick like oatmeal. My life so ill, undercover like a dope deal. I take Goldilocks to the smoke shop. No pork chops, straighten her out like Botox. And your homies fake, all we do is money make In the studio, smoked and glazed, honey baked Fracture your ligaments, if you ain't digging it Blood trickling, got your whole squad giggling Fast cars, fast women, hard living, sinning in. Down on my knees, asking God for forgiveness The greatest show on earth when I spit verses Most of these rappers just part of the circus Most of these rappers just spit with no purpose Most of these rappers can't get to the surface Meanwhile, urge seven spread like a virus Right before your iris Slow the live, it's no survivors And I'm rolling in a Hummer all summer I got a lot of shit on my hands Like a plumber, push music every quarter No artists hustle harder I'm drinking hustle water and I'm trying to fuck your daughter Hot like the Carter Competition slaughtered, want the money, pussy and weed And don't fuck up my order Lyrical whooping, MCs get chastised MCs get black eyes, MCs get baptized Stop a rapper cold like Tristan You faking booty like your girl fake booty implants Six chicks all in VIP with no wristbands You sucking, you stuck and fucked with no get back Homie kick back, get cracked like a six pack Ate up like a Big Mac, popped like a Tic Tac Split like a Kit Kat, you won't get the gift bag On a roll, balling out of control like Riff Raff You hear the music on MTV I've killed more rap careers than BET Homie, your best bet is to leave me be Catch the Ustream feed or the DVD Tie a rapper to the train tracks You niggas bogus Superman ain't coming to stop the locomotive Rappers out here battling over Who the cutest is and who the fruitiest and who the bootiest Look here, dog. I knick-knack, paddywhack, Cadillac Underground like the gopher on Caddyshack Homie, you read the text It said daddy's back Might as well pack You ain't never getting the panties back and not one of you niggas qualified Every time I ride, it's another homicide Mummified, laid out like King Tut Maybe next time you will watch who you mean up I'm doing everything niggas could dream up Motherfuckers thought they was the shit till they seen us Motherfuckers couldn't even win if they teamed up Cadillacs, Range Rovers, Benzes, and Beamers Edibles, Indicas, Hybrids, and Sativas I've been to procedures, I've seen you to Jesus Take non-believers, turn them into believers Cause even though we underground, we Overachievers, and even though we ain't in town blowing this cheaper, got dough in the bread box, coke in the freezer. Ease up, I do this shit at my leisure, and shake a hoe so fast she thinks she having a seizure. Don't remember her name like I'm having amnesia. She's sucking down my nuts like milk or magnesia. I'm ripping up the game like Nas did Ether. I'm showing up the battles dressed as the Grim Reaper. Dog to sleep on me could be fatal. Now how y'all fucking with Urge and Crazy Kalo? Yeah, homie, you dope if you say so, but y'all ain't fucking with Urge and Crazy Kalo. Yeah, all right, dog, you dope if you say so, but y'all ain't fucking with Urge and Crazy Kalo. We giving out wings and halos, cause y'all ain't fucking with Urge and Crazy Kalo. Yeah, all right, dog, you dope if you say so, but y'all ain't fucking with Urge and Crazy Kalo. Yo, get your bars up. All you motherfuckers out there that think y'all doing something, you know what I mean? Get your weight up before you get ate up and have to put your plate up. It's your boy Urge 7, West Coast, Gatekeeper, Compton.
Kalo, we in here. Fuck with us. Brand new shit by my brother, Urge 7. Come hey, on, bro, man. stay working, man. My brother is doing movies, videos. He doing music. I mean, the boy is working, man. The Digi God is on his shit. Love you, bro. Keep it coming. Yeah, what he said. Yeah, what the fuck I said. Hey, man, yeah, I was going to ask you a question, too, man. Hey, what would y'all do, man, if y'all had somebody, you know, buy your lotto ticket for you? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And, nigga, you come to find out, y'all got to split the, uh, the bid because uh, both of y'all names on this. You know what I'm was saying? Was it a lot of money? Uh, yeah, it was like over 600, 600 mil. Oh, I ain't got no problem with splitting that. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you, okay, if you wait, bought the ticket for me. Who, who paid for the ticket? The older, old person, older head paid for it, but she, like, sent somebody to go get it, her nephew. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting in on that. Come on. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you get. No, you can't even give me a couple hundred thousand. I went and bought. I did all the leg power. Yeah, I grabbed bro, that... did you, What, hey, did, was it a quick pick or did she give him numbers? Now, see, I don't know all that. Because that yeah. make a difference, too. Yeah. Like, nigga, you wouldn't have got this with my numbers, but if it's a quick pick, nah, we got to split this. Come on. Fact. You old anyway. <laughs> you old you gonna die and shit. Go and give me my. I'd give, I'd, I'd, I'd give him something. I'd give him something. You goddamn right. You give me something. <laughs> then you gonna give me half. I'd give him double of what he spent. Hey yo, she was mad though in the video. Like, nah, I regret it. You know what I'm saying? I, why would I put you somebody damn name? Damn dead. <laughs> yeah. Bitch, go ahead and get this nigga. Yeah, half. This I, nigga walk for you or I, drove over. I, I wouldn't give him half. Come on. The hell wouldn't you would? I wouldn't give him half. What you give him, Joe? I don't know. But I wouldn't give him half. Yeah. My name is on that bitch too. She, you me, ain't got no choice. Me, <laughs> me. First of all, you'd have to determine what this motherfucker is. Is he a Yo. good kid? Okay, maybe I give him half. Joe, if he, if he, if he you bad say, I'm good enough to go get the ticket for your ass, but I ain't good enough to get half his money. Bro, nope. she got, she got me her, fucked up. She took a new court and everything. You feel me? So, nope. But she, you know what I mean? They cut it though. They still, you know, gave her what she was rightfully owed. Yeah. You know? all right. all right. Technically, she don't have to give him shit. No, the courts don't and, do that. No, technically. Whoever has that ticket and sign that ticket gets the money. She technically well, got name shit. is on the ticket. Only Joe. one person signs it. Well, Ray he said probably, both of them. Yeah, they both they, both their names was on it supposedly. That's what they well, said. That's different. Daryl yeah. and Shira Stevens. The ticket. <laughs> yeah, they showed the ticket too. Okay. That's why that's I'm like, different. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm like, nigga, if I don't win, got it, and my name is see, on it, I, I didn't, won't I, have. See, my bad. I didn't hear that part. But what if he signed both names? What if he? Well, yeah. What if he signed it? I don't give a fuck. I won't have. Eddie, I won't have. That, that bitch and Fufu did the Eddie. Eddie. No, and, and you know what? What's, you have. what's the crazy part about the lottery shit? There, there has been people that have sued their fucking parents. Come on. I deserve half because they use my birthday. Uh, <laughs> shit like that. There, okay. there are crazy motherfuckers like that. Nigga, but you can get half. Get your half out of my house, motherfucker. <laughs> Take this. Get the fuck on. Nice to know you, nigga. There you go. Oh, but she... Yeah. He got to understand too. You know what? They're gonna take fifty-one percent of that six hundred thousand dollars, Joe. So they're gonna end up with two something. I wouldn't give a fuck what I hope. What I owe. That's more than what I had, Joe. Why do you think I'm playing this shit? I'm trying to get lucky. I have they more, got lucky. On, bro. I have more than what I had. I won a whole nine dollars. Nigga, I got less than what I had. I won a dollar. Look at this one. I'll be a nice guy. I split it three ways with all of us, Joe. Three dollars a piece. How's that sound? Let me write my name on the ticket, and then you can do what you want. <laughs> I'm going to get my half. Nigga, oh, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. But, Joe, if a nigga walk and go get you a ticket, drive, whatever, but he go physically go in the store and get your t your ticket and bring it back to you, you got to get this motherfucker something, bro. You I, couldn't I, get your ass up. I never though. said I wouldn't give him nothing. But, Joe. I wouldn't give him half. Hey, this her nephew we talk about. This okay, ain't like, Joe. This ain't no random. Let me go I buy your fuck. Man. Joe. But she was on that too. She like, nah, bro. Like, nah, fuck that, Joe. <laughs> Go get my ticket for me. Okay. So funny. when I win, you see what the fuck I get, you gonna be bro. Come on, bro, come on here. See? I'm gonna give you something. <laughs> give you more than what you had. And see, that's that that's that's the difference between me and other people. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna ask for something that I know ain't rightfully mine. If I didn't pay for it, oh don't worry. And all right. I did, if I'm going to the store and be like, hey, give me some, give me some quick picks. So that's you, yours. You'll be cool with me. I'll not be giving cool. you a motherfucking I'll, thing. I'll be totally cool with it. Without me giving you shit, I'll be totally cool. And I got millions. Yep. 
Go buy Why? all my tickets. Your luck might be better Why? than mine. I'm finna come to Why? Because that was your money. Uh-huh. And that was your choice, you uh -huh. know, to get tickets. Okay. If it, was, if it was up to me, I would. But I couldn't go get the tickets, so I asked you to go. You I, don't think you worth no. something? Man. You know what? Well, I'm, uh, the higher-ups in the universe will bless me. The higher-ups <laughs> in the universe be like, no, you go get that <laughs> ass. You go nah. get your money. I wouldn't. I, that, that, that's Joe. me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Hey, if you have me buy your lottery ticket. Hey, that's just like back in the day, bro. This is what I was trying to show you. That's, that's like the, the name on it. <laughs> hey, under the address, that nigga put his name. <laughs> well, the address. He like, the nigga was dumb as a motherfucker anyway. Oh, okay. So she put her name with a motherfucker. Did he ready with a crayon? This nigga, <laughs> this nigga in there with the address. He like, bitch, Look, we on here. Yeah, man. Hey. I don't give a fuck. They didn't give two slots, bitch. So we what, don't hear. What what if what if he filled in the name after they kind of he found out they won? Man. If well. I was him, I'd have put my name first. Man. There you go. Now what you gonna get now, Auntie? Come on. She about to die, Joe. <laughs> Leave me this shit. Fuck your kids. They didn't even want to go and Maybe get Maybe she didn't even you. like him. She liked man. him enough to ask him to go, Joe. Hey. I, and if she got greedy I ass kids I like sit there like my mother hey. Hey, Fuck that I, like, I, went and got the I like you enough to ask me Ask you to take me to the store <laughs> But you at least gotta ask Joe hey. Somewhere up in there they had a decent relationship You could say no Hey money is the root of all evil He could have said no Money is the root of all evil Actually hey, that's not true What? If, the, if, if money was the root of all evil Why do we need it to survive? Joe it's a plan <laughs> The people is trying to keep us down, Joe, and they do it by money. I'm just saying. But money is the root of all evil. Motherfuckers always want money. They'll do anything to get your money. Jealousy man. is the root of all evil. Especially you come to it like that. They can say pussy is the root of all evil. Man, they for Cause sure. Because you get a good piece. God damn it, it's going to turn you sideways. <laughs> boy, get you shot there. 14 times. Ooh, it, it might. <laughs> man, they had you out there robbing and stealing and killing. Bag, borrow, stealing and killing. Joe, do you realize a good piece of pussy from a bad motherfucker could turn all of us against each other? All she got to do is let us all sample it? Honestly? Between us? Yeah. No. It could happen, Joe. Oh, she got it. See, that's the difference. I'm all she got to do is squirt, and you're gonna be like, "What the fuck is that? <laughs> I like it. It's warm. It's sensational." First and of all, if it's the three of us and a female, I wouldn't even be put in that situation. I wouldn't Damn, either. But I'm real. just saying, we ain't gotta know each other, and she'll turn us all against each other. True. Just by opening our motherfucking legs. True. Keep your goddamn legs shut. Keep your ass out the air, and stay yeah. off goddamn video. We don't want to see that shit. Hey, it's funny how that shit's, uh, uh, you can see that shit all over social media and everything. Yeah. Fucking bitches flashing their titties and their ass and everything. But we post a, a video of talking about fucking, what the fuck were we talking about the other day? Kids. Oh, we were talking about fucking, um. Some real shit. Some real shit. We are talking about, uh, your daughter, she had one, uh, the track meet, the last track meet. Joe, what and, my kids got to do with this shit? They rejected one of our our our, our reels. Yeah. Because I was talking, we were talking about his daughter. <laughs> On some real shit. Hey, hey. Speaking of my kids, man. Shout out to my son, Lil Daryl, man. They just uh, had a ring ceremony at the school, and they blessed him with his state championship ring. So he got his his other ring finally. The motherfucker is nice, bro. Hey. You know what I'm saying? So hey, shout real, out to bro. Lil Daryl, man. Come on. Hey, also, man. I was reading this motherfucking story, bro. I was kind of disturbed till I had to read the rest of the story. Where it was a couple, I think they were in Texas as well. A lot of shit happening in Texas. Maybe it's the water. And uh, they they was fighting over a Nintendo Switch, a married couple. They fighting over a Nintendo Switch. And then it said uh, the woman was arrested for fatally throwing her husband from the car. I'm like, how she thrown from the car? I don't know if they was in the. Did seat. she like push him out the front seat? That's what I was wondering, bro. I'm like, Whoa. how the fuck she get a nigga out the car? Was, and what, did he like have what have a hold of her through the driver's door window? Or... Well, still, that's not throwing him. That's still pushing him, right? Yeah. So I had to go back and I had to do Joe. I had to get curious. I had to read the whole fucking story. You had to get nosy. I had to get nosy, bro. <laughs> so the nigga was on the hood of the car. Oh, now it he, makes he, sense. Come on, get bro, your he dumb didn't... ass off the car. Bitch, get me back to switch. Get the fuck off the car. 
Bitch, give me back the Switch. I was playing a new game. It's charged up. Give it back. That's was it like a kid shit, Switch? Or I don't know. What? I'm wondering, did she speed up and slam on brakes and this nigga fly off, bump his head or something? I don't know. Or or what if she fucking hit the corner and, and hit the gas? Hey, ladies. And he just flew off. Ladies, if you ever get on the hood of my car, I'm going to the freeway. <laughs> Bitch, you better get off while I get on that ramp. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> If not, you're going to yeah. be a new fucking hood ornament on my shit. Drive- Jump the fuck. We got plenty of lights. Come Jump on. the fuck off. But if I hit that freeway, I'm pushing. Give a Come fuck. Ball, ball. You Bitch, start fuck your hair and you everything else. You, you I got to get a CHP and just... I'm gone. Joe, I'm gone. I'm driving so, whatever so, the fuck so, hood. So, so, what's the story behind? Why, why were they fighting over the switch? I still didn't get the whole story, bro. I got as far as where this nigga was on the hood, yeah. and that bitch did something. This nigga flew off and was fatally killed, was, bro. Was he, so they what, trying to get her for vehicular manslaughter and some other shit. Did, did she try to fucking erase his fucking winning streak in Mario Kart? Or Hey, Joe. <laughs> what, what, was he, like, yeah, using probably. the Switch, like, for... To communicate with other females. Yo, I don't know, bro, but these devices are a motherfucker. I done seen man, motherfuckers leave the house shit, without their phone. Man, come on. They two hours away. They turn around and go back to go get that bitch. Over a fucking phone? You can't live without that bitch a day? Come or you on, got man. some shit on there you don't, don't want to be exposed? Man. That's some funny shit, though. That's I, I, real right I have literally lo- left my phone at home. There's time like, I have the worst day ever. Mm. Well, because I listen to music or I listen to other podcasts. That's or I, I listen. Do, it's my entertainment at work. So if I yeah. need my phone or my earbuds at home, my, my day's shot. Yeah, it will alter your day. But shit, I done seen motherfuckers get on the hood of course with their phones. Give me my phone back. Ain't That's your crazy. shit. Man. They make a nigga do some strange shit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't see nigga getting on the hood for some pussy. I'm like, hey, <laughs> shit happens. Well, it's just like, do you remember? I don't know if you remember this story a while back where the parents took this, this 14, 15 year old kid's phone because he got in trouble. Mm-hmm. The, I don't know. I don't remember if it was a little girl or a little boy, but it was the child. They took the child's phone away from him. And the fucking little kid fucking Tore the house up. destroyed the whole fucking house. Damn, bro. Just because hey. they took the, the phone. Yeah. Me, myself, if you start tearing my house up and you don't want to stop breaking windows and all this other shit, you know what I'm finna do this phone? Go drop that bitch in the toilet and flush it. Fuck you, fuck you this phone. Not, no, man, bro. You ain't never getting another one. For real, for real. Ever. So, so, so do you I'm think like gone. these parents that run over their kids' Xboxes or Playstations and they shit like that? They do it for a reason, Joe. They trying to teach you You think it's justifiable? Yes! You would do some shit like that? Hell yeah. I just yeah, spent all too. this money for this motherfucker. Yeah, me too. I'm going to burn rubber on this like bitch. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably do some shit. If I pay for it, yeah. fuck yeah. I'm telling you to clean up your room, take out the trash, and do your normal chores that I'm going to pay you for, and you on some bullshit? Remember, there was a, there you got to wait. I just started a game, and I can't stop it for three hours. What? There was, there was nah. another video of a, um, a little girl sitting on the bed playing the fucking video game. Uh-huh. Dad walks in and says, hey, I did not tell you to fucking... Um, I don't know why they had a camera going. Maybe it was some already an ongoing situation. Yeah. And the little girl was like, I told you to wait. Dad walks out the room, comes back, comes back with a golf club. What's, fuck that TV up. What's the fuck you tell yeah. me some shit? I'll tell you to wait. No, the, little, the little girl shot. Uh, it could have been a fucking skit. Could have been, but that motherfucker seemed real to me. How oh, the fuck man. you gonna break a TV with a golf club? Nah, you ain't. Unless, ain't they, no unless, unless they had another TV in the hallway. <laughs> Nigga, that's man. a lesson. For real. I'm teaching you a lesson. I bought this bitch, and I'm gonna yeah, destroy but I, this bitch. I, that that was like one situation. Like, why did the little girl have that shit recording? She knew she was fucking up. Maybe I don't know. Either way, you let maybe my she kids thought it was a the, joke. You let my kids think this shit a joke. God damn it! I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll give you everything. You social want media, me, I'll show you. social media, and these fucking going viral shits is fucking yeah, our our, our younger generation thing. up. We finna go viral tonight. I got some shit in the works. <laughs> hey, y'all, tune oh. into the after hours. It's gonna be amazing. uh Oh. Nah, we ain't even got one today. I'm just on some bullshit. <laughs> I'm like, what are we doing? You didn't hey, tell I'm, me. I'm just bullshit. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> hey, man. I read this story, bro, in Texas. Uh, What's up with you in Texas today? I don't know, bro. That's what, that's what shit cracking. You know man. what I'm saying? But it was like Texas a woman's worst nightmare. So apparently this woman was stranded on a road with a flat. A Hispanic dude pulled up. The, she think he finna help her fix the goddamn flat. This nigga abduct her. 
You know what I'm saying? He kidnapped her. And I'm like, what kind of shit is that, bro? You can't even trust a motherfucker to come help you out with a flat and shit. That's why I'm glad I got AAA. You know what I'm saying? So if wifey ever out there and I can't get to it real quick, call these motherfuckers. I'm on my way, though. Dude, one time That's I was good. going down the highway in Texas. And Are the you kidding somebody? No, hold on. The GPS oh. was telling me to make a left down this road. This road looked like... That shit looked creepy. It was just like a fucking dirt road going to nowhere. I said, yeah. fuck this. I seen this movie. Yeah. I went all the way around. You goddamn yeah. right. Come on. I drove I drove like an extra couple of miles. I said, fuck this. No I, shortcuts I, where I don't know. I'm man. not fucking I was around. like, straight out. I'm, uh, my sister and my mom. This my dad passed away when yeah. I was out there. You can ask them too. I was like, fuck that. I seen this movie. I'm <laughs> not going down there. And man. I kept on going. What do you think they care about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? <laughs> exactly. Nigga, that's shit like, oh, you on my property? Nigga, <laughs> oh, shit. Open game. Yeah, they should have told me to make a left, but you look down that motherfucker, it was like a dirt road with just trees and shit. I said, fuck that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm some real shit. I remember I was down south, and I'm driving down shit, and I'm seeing plantation here, plantation mm -hmm. here. I'm like, can you imagine how many black folks man. actually got murdered over yeah, here? We, I, I felt uneasy in we, 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 we was That's way out there in the fucking, yeah, the same thing. We were out there in the, um, the ranches in Texas. You know, nothing but ranches are out there, so we was way out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, fuck that. Yeah. On some real shit. Hey, but bro, back to that story, and though, everybody bro. everybody in Texas carried guns. Well, everybody yeah, you in bet, Texas you carried better. guns. How come she didn't have a gun? I don't know. Maybe it was in the car, and she was just thinking it was a good Samaritan stopping to help her out, Joe. Man. Triple A. But then this motherfucker fuck around and kidnap her and sexually assault her. That's oh, he sexually assaulted her. Yeah, bro, that's some yeah. bullshit. Police caught him, but that's some bullshit, though, bro. Somehow she escaped from the apartment and shit, and police wind up going to get this nigga. What 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 would you consider that? Would you consider that like a mental illness or just somebody sick minded? Nigga, crazy. The motherfucker was crazy. So, I mean, I if you because you know when it comes out and they gonna start charging him, they're gonna say, oh well, he he's mentally ill or some shit like that. I say put him in a cell with Big Bubba and let's see what happens. You let's see how he like being sexually assaulted. Man. It's like, no, I was going to say, because, you know, mental illness, because the same shit, you know, it's like, me, Joe, me, me going to work the other day, there was some guy jacking off on the fucking side of the freeway. He need his ass whooped. <laughs> he need his ass whooped. In, in front of, you know, that gas station right there on PCH? I wonder if he was the same nigga in the goddamn Dollar Tree. Man. <laughs> Got a point Jizzing there. on everybody, you know what I'm saying? Is there a Dollar Tree on PCH? I don't know. I think it's what <laughs> the nigga might have caught the bus and left, Joe. Real. Probably. I don't know. Probably. Maybe he was gearing Man. up and practicing to walk through the store and just jizz on every product right there. So, so could you imagine? That is some nasty yeah. shit. So, you would, would you say give him a slap on the wrist and put him in the loony bin? No, band? I say beat his ass, Joe. Oh, okay. No, but I'm saying, so you say beat his ass and let him go, or beat his ass and charge him. Okay. Yeah. Lock him up, man. There's no need for you to be outside jacking the fuck off where people can see you. Especially on somebody's back. Or, 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 or sexually assaulting somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it takes a fucked up person to do that type of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You want to call them mentally challenged or whatever? That's just to help these niggas get out of jail. Fuck that. I Hang think, this nigga out to dry. I think some people have... He probably done it multiple times before. And he hey. got away with it. It's like a thrill. But I wonder why you don't never get stories where a woman sitting there pleasing herself. Playing with her pussy somewhere. Or yeah, a, with a sign next to her like this shit, fire <laughs> slippery with wet. Or, you know what I'm saying? I, you, don't, you, you, you rarely man. see stories of um, men saying that they were sexually assaulted. It happens. It happens. Oh, yeah. But you, happens. you rarely see stories like that. Uh, unless they're getting, unless Diddy's getting them, but that's another story. You <laughs> stupid. We'll, we'll, nah, we'll pass that. <laughs> I, I think men be ashamed to admit that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, I got abused and stuff like that. I think men are more scared to admit that. Men, men, men are, are, are scared to admit that they got choked out? Yeah. I, I think they are, bro. That's why Because their masculinity? The, that's why Puffy got away with this <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Puffy had video, plus he like, nigga, I had your, I had your little but shit But you know me, what? Nigga. You know what? Puffy's a sick motherfucker. He is. He's mentally fucked well, up. Well, they're, they're, they're painting him out to be this way. We no. don't know 100%. If okay, we're going by besides him fucking up Casey. We saw we're, the we're video. Going, okay, we're going yeah. by hear, hearsay. Yeah, everything is hearsay. So, well, I heard something, and I want to hear what you have to say about it. I heard some sick shit recently. Th that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm getting at. Well, shoot, Joe. The, about him fucking getting. Wait, um, don't shoot. <laughs> you know about, what I'm about him getting Cassie and um, Kim Porter's um, 
period blood. Oh, and man. said they was eating it at, at, the at these little fucking freak offs. Yeah. What they call them? I, oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't that's know, nice. bro. That's like here saying that's got to be some sick shit. Because first of all, this is some blood out some pussy. This is her cleaning out cycle. And y'all eating that shit? Y'all just put it on some bread or something? They, like, they yeah. said it was like some satanic. Is it like yeah, y'all man. y'all it's eating like sauce with Rituals or some shit like yeah, that. Bro. Well, how, was they drinking it? Was they... Put know. it in cakes and cookies or something. I see, that's way. the thing. They give you a headline. They give you a, sm- a, a little tidbit of the story, but they don't delve deep into it and give you the story. Yeah, it, it said it was supposed to be court documents that, that, that said this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I don't know if it really happened or not. But, of course, right now when you're having a downfall of a uh, Puffy a billionaire, what? Man, come on. I but don't you, know. You have a, a a downfall of a rich and successful person. They bring up all kind of dirt, plus they make up stories on you. So I don't know how much of this puffy shit is really true, except for him beating Cassie ass and stomping the stomach and dragging her, because I've seen the footage. Yeah, I seen that's that. That's like when crazy. R. Kelly tried to say, so nigga, he, I didn't piss, didn't on, piss on, on the bitch. Nigga, you fixed the camera, nigga. <laughs> I saw the shit, nigga. You pissed on the bitch. You know what I'm saying, nigga? You guilty for that one. I don't know about all the rest hey, of the shit, but you guilty for that. Man. Just like Puffy. He guilty for that. Man, I don't on. know about all the rest of the shit, bro. I wasn't there. They probably got all kind of stories about us. They just waiting to, to put out. The minute we fuck up. Man, come on. But yet, they don't want to spread the rumor that you had sex with a female Bigfoot. I don't think I really had sex with a B. I think she abused me. No, you had sex with the alien. No, I'm looking for an alien. We're going to have some nappy head little kid. I'm fucking the shit out of alien. You hear me? Big, big belly and all. Fuck it. Let's roll. It's my type of bitch. So so, so you, were, you were assaulted by the Bigfoot. Mm-hmm. But you willingly did the alien. Yeah. Okay. A Bigfoot tied me down and just okay. took it. She tied you to a tree? Yeah. And all she wanted was my balls. <laughs> She wanted me to jizz in her cumbrellas. You do. She wanted to rub it into her fur. Her fur? Yeah. Silky. Uh, uh, fucking conditioner? It's silky, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, shit happens, though, man. So, oh. so, how, how do you feel about them fucking wanting to take um, Diddy's key to New York? Key to the city? I wouldn't give it back. Come if on. y'all award like, me with like, some Like, if he doesn't give shit. it back, do they just, like, like dismiss it? Nah, this motherfucker, you, you got no privileges in New York no more, or... They're like physically saying, give me the key back. Them motherfuckers want money, bro. I don't True. give a fuck if you rich, broke, or whatever. If you're spending money, they're going to allow it. Mm-hmm. But as far as y'all giving me the key to the city, now all of a sudden I'm getting tainted yeah. by some shit I may and may have not done. Y'all awarded me this shit. Yeah. This was an honor. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to give you back my motherfucking award. But you know how they they be on that too, man. Like as far as just you know being in that public eye, they probably mm-hmm. on some like nah, you know we got to do something now. But we can't he, be affiliated, man. We can't be affiliated. They, 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 they were he, saying they did it shit. They know were saying, saying they, they were said, gonna considering like probably actually take um, Diddy's star off the Walk of Fame, bro. Damn. Well, because I mean, it keeps getting um, vandalized. Oh, okay. But what I mean, y'all think, shit. though? Y'all think he should get, get a key back in? You know what I'm saying? Get a star walk? You know I wouldn't saying? give back up? shit. I wouldn't give back. Yeah. Don't I, I mean, say I mean what, are you gonna, what are you going to do? Like, null and void the situation? Go ahead. I got it. Even with my name on the Hollywood uh, Walk of Fame, they got other motherfuckers that did worse shit. That's true. That's but true. See, if you start removing niggas, you're going to have to remove no, no, Elvis see, Presley and all the rest of these but see, motherfuckers. That's, that, that's the thing. They're not taking it. They're not. They're not removing it. Because yeah. of the situation he's in, they want to take it because they keep vandalizing it. Nah, either way, they they taking it up. Vandalize my shit, I don't give a fuck. But leave it there. Somebody got to keep cleaning it. Come on. Okay, well, maybe that's the problem. The street. <laughs> Change its location. Yeah. Come on. Moving two two slots down or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I wouldn't I wouldn't remove it though. You know what I'm saying? You they already fucking up his legacy and everything he done built up, you know what I'm well, saying? Well he fucking up his legacy. Both. It's a combination. You know what I'm saying? But his downfall is spiraling like a motherfucker, so now everybody is tearing this dude down. Yeah. Now you ain't everybody. Lying. They do it to everybody. I don't give a fuck. If you up at a certain level, once they want you to downfall, everybody bring up shit, make up shit, and they flood the, the internet. And social media with all kind of shit that you don't know what to believe. True. But the more negative or the more outrageous the story is, you gonna want to believe it. Man. Be like this sick motherfucker did what? Ah, that's true. Cause he's already in the news. He's already getting downplayed. So we gonna believe that shit, bro. I say fuck him and let's get back to the rap battles. 
<laughs> okay, well, shit, who you got this week? Nobody, actually. Okay, well, then how the fuck we going to get back to that then? <laughs> if you ain't got nobody in the goddamn ring, Joe. Oh, I got to figure something out. Yeah, you do. Oh, man. Well, the only shit right now going on is, is fucking 50 Cent going <laughs> Oh, yeah, he been going in, man. Trolling everybody. Yeah, he's going after everybody. For real. I don't give a fuck about none of this, bro. Like I said, it's good for hip hop because mm. you got people talking about it again. Man. That's it. What's yeah. your opinion on Nicki Minaj getting arrested? I don't know what she did. They said she, she in Amsterdam, though. What? They let her out. Did. Oh, yeah. Supposedly they said yeah, she supposedly out. had drugs like or some weed on her or something. In Amsterdam? Like some joints or some road. In Amsterdam? But she flew in with them. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, bitch, you can get it in Amsterdam. That's where the fuck you go and get your drugs at. I don't know. I don't know the whole story behind that. Okay. I man. already didn't give a shit. Yeah. I don't either, man. A lot of these rich motherfuckers is getting arrested for dumb shit. That's on you. You man. you fucking famous. Wherever you touch down, you can get whatever you want. You who, got somebody's going to go who get the you one whatever that you want. told Come a story on, one time that they went to Amsterdam. I think it was um the motherfucker. Uh, what's his name? Fucking... Um, Russell, what's his name? Um, Run DMC's older brother. Oh, you talking oh, about right. um, Russell Simmons? Russell, Russell Simmons. Simmons. Yeah. That he got off the plane in Amsterdam one time. They were like, "What do you need? You need weed, cocaine, hookers?" <laughs> it's that easy, bro. They're like get, easy. getting right off the fucking plane. Yeah, it's that yeah. easy. So if you taking the shit with you, leave that shit on your plane. Mm -hmm. More than likely, she was on a private jet or some shit. Leave that shit on the plane. That way you can get high when y'all getting high. You know what I'm saying? And but, that's probably what they wanted. Yeah, but taking that shit out there with you and all that, there's no need because you're going to be able to get whatever the fuck you want once you get there. Man. If you're rich enough. True. The city is going to look out for you, the state, whatever. Mm -hmm. You'll have fucking politicians probably bringing you pussy and drugs. Just fucking straight. On some real El, shit. El, El Chapo yeah. kind of shit. On some real shit, bro. Just keep it 100. These motherfuckers, they got ties to the street. I don't, I don't, I don't know how supposedly she was in custody, but she was still fucking filming her being locked up. That I don't understand. Is she rich? Yeah. Like You're not you, taking my phone. Like you get locked up, but it. you get to keep your phone. She rich, Joe. I got Somebody locked got up paid, and they took man. everything, even my shoelaces. Because you broke. <laughs> That's the fucking difference. Yeah, when you're broke, it. you get treated like Actually, nothing. they didn't even take my shoelaces. They took my shoes. Fuck Come it. On. Nigga, walk barefoot. But if you're rich, you would have still had your red bottoms on. Come on, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's the difference. I'm not walking on this fucking floor. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it's a difference, Joe. You gotta have some money to understand. If you'd have fuck around and got half that money from your auntie, <laughs> hey, nigga from the lotto, then you would have been able to write your own check. You, <laughs> nigga, I will buy two of you. I think that's probably, probably why I ain't made no money yet, though, bro. Because I'd probably be stupid on some shit walking around like, nigga, I hey. will hire and fire your bitch ass. Hey, come Twice. on, nigga, I don't work for you, nigga. I'm finna buy the company you out tomorrow. Come on. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Fuck it. If I got money, I probably would be an asshole. I don't know. Fleming said no school tomorrow. Oh, I was just about to say something. I got the same message, bro, but I was about to say something. <laughs> but it ain't appropriate because we got to go back Tuesday. Uh, you know man, what I'm Somebody might be watching this motherfucker and be like, you heard what he said. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep that to my motherfucking self, man. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey, man, what y'all got planned for the rest of the weekend, though? Shit. Yeah, I ain't know too much, man. Shit. Shit. Man, I gotta wash. Fuck it. At Grocery shit. store. Fuck it. Man. I'm gonna do some 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 shit that I don't wanna do, but I'm gonna do it because I know that I ain't gotta do shit tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. We got we actually got invited to a barbecue. I don't even feel like going. I had barbecue last week. Yeah. Me and wifey just had some shit and I'm like, nah, I don't want a fucking barbecue. Fuck your barbecue. Fuck your barbecue. <laughs> I have one. Oh, okay. Shit, today I don't either. <laughs> Y'all queuing? Oh uh, nah. Yeah, I'm chilling for Fuck real. barbecue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck your feeling Sunday. Come hey. on. Yeah, that part. Hey, man, y'all got anything y'all want to talk about before we get up out of here, man? Hey, what would you do? You were going to be executed. Okay. Would you fucking gouge your own eyes out? So I won't see it coming? I guess. This dude got locked up, right? They were going to execute him. Uh -huh. He gouged his own eyes out. Damn. To, to, pro, to, I guess, to stop the execution. So you going to live a couple of more days, weeks, or some shit like that? Man. Uh, maybe, like you said, maybe he fucking did it so he wouldn't see it coming. I would have took his bloody, no-eyed ass and sit this bitch-ass nigga down. <laughs> nigga, you, you dying anyway. We'll give yeah. a fuck if you ain't going to see it. Damn, nigga, bro. get him out of here. 
Nigga, I'm, I'm fucked up like that. Get him out of here. That's some shit, uh, man. You got your eyes out. They fucking save you to execute your ass. Dude. They're like, nah, you ain't dying on your time. Nigga, you dying when we want you to die. Come on, bro. Hey, but man, I can't see nothing. My eyes, I think I got infection. Do, do, you ain't gonna need none of this do shit you think in a couple days. Come if, on, bro. If an inmate dies, yeah. and they resuscitate him uh -huh. and bring him back to life, do you, think, served his time. do you think he technically served his life in prison? Yeah. Yeah. So, Don't bring him back. Y'all brought him back, nigga. I, I should be a free man you now. You think so? Hell yeah. Why is that? Because I died in there. Y'all brought me back. I done man. did my life sentence in that motherfucker. I seen a, I seen a story of a, of a fucking EN, uh, EMT. Yeah. Who saved a, a guy at a um, car accident, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. EMT saved the guy. The guy had a big ta uh, tattoo on his chest that, says, that said um, DNR. According to the guy, it, the, the, it meant do not resuscitate. Bitch, I thought that was that nigga girl name. So, the guy, on, since, since the EMT brought him back to life, he started to sue. He was suing the EMT because he brought him back to life. Yeah, bro. That's way out. Like, man, He's I'm like, he should have let bro. me die. Now I'm $40,000 in debt. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that show bag. <laughs> Come on. Fucking EMT was like, I didn't know what the tattoo meant. Next he time, <laughs> spell that shit the fuck out. And then I see uh, it, and I'll be like, oh, this nigga, he out of here. That shit just comes back to why people don't help people at accidents. Cause that ain't why, Joe. It's yeah. like if you see somebody in an accident, and you try to give them CPR. Uh -huh. You're going to crack their ribs, right? Giving them C um, fucking CPR. I you're might, because I don't know how to chest do compressions. CPR. Come on. You know, you're going you're gonna to break ribs. Okay. So you break ribs, you save this guy's life, they're going to come back and sue you because he broke their ribs. So you just saying let him go? Possibly, it could be a in father, some situations. It could be a father that some shit happened or a no, 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 no. I'm not saying shit. don't do it. I'm saying that's why people don't do it nowadays. Oh, okay. With the fear like, of being sued. Because I'm like, this dude could be a family man. He got yeah. a family at home that need him. Yeah, I'm not and saying I let him die because this nigga. I'm got not some saying bullshit. I wouldn't do it. I'm man. not saying for y'all not to do it. I'm saying yeah. people won't do it. But maybe they don't know how to do it, Joe. I know how. I don't know how to perform CPR, but I watch a lot of goddamn movies to where I, I probably can figure it out. And that's what out. I'm saying. When you're doing CPR, you know, you're doing chest compressions, you could break ribs. Yeah. And I think that's why, when, like I said, that's why people don't get involved. Okay. That's some shit, Because of that You won that case, too? Like, yeah. oh, shit. Oh, the fucking that case, the fucking... I mean, the judge yeah, yeah. looked at him like, like, where you tripping? But if, yeah. imagine if he, he like threw that shit out. I mean, Man, niggas, you high? <laughs> Facts. You so with this <laughs> threw that shit out. <laughs> this nigga saved your life, and now you want to, you want to get the fuck out my courtroom? Really though? And go kill yourself the right way? <laughs> Come on, man. He wanted to sue the fucking because he was forty thousand dollars in debt. Oh, nah, yeah. And you still owe, motherfucker, plus court costs. Nigga. Man. No shit, uh. Man, no, you no 41 shit, uh. and whatever this is, nigga. You no owe shit. all this, nigga. Matter of fact, you, I'm, you gonna get hit this guy a little extra just for his fucking time. Yeah, come if on, this man. nigga had to take off work today to come down here for this bullshit, he could have been saving a life. You gonna pay for this nigga day. Oh, man. Now Damn. you worse imagine, than dead. Come on, bro. Imagine that shit. Nah, I can't imagine because that's just the bullshit. <laughs> man. That's fuckery at his finest, Joe. Come on, bro. Fuckery at his finest. Why in the fuck would you sue a motherfucker to save your life? I don't. I don't. I don't get it. I don't. I don't either. Yeah, hey, if something's not... happening to me, please save my life. And this is like, this is like I'm giving motherfuckers permission to save my life. And this is like physically an EMT. This is one of the fucking dudes on the. They nigga know what he doing. He knew what yeah, he was like, doing. On, save bro. my life. That's, that's, like... all, that's all I'm asking. Save my life. If some shit happening with your boy, save my life, man. I got a family to get I back to. I just kick you in the chest. That's some... I don't give a fuck where you kick me. Just goddamn make sure it saved my life. Man. I got motherfuckers to take care of. I got to report to work Tuesday. I got to finish making money to support these motherfuckers. Come on. I, I got a car accident one time. Mm. One time ago. I fucking called call my job. And I was like, hey, we got a car accident. They're like, oh, so you're going to be late? <laughs> right Bitch, I can't even move this man, motherfucker. Like, we got a car accident. Oh, so that means you're going to be in later. Like, like, no, we ain't coming in. <laughs> man, like, bro, nigga. speaking of accident, I actually got into an accident yesterday, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was on the freeway, and um, the police, they had shut down the 91 and shit, and they was trying to, no, they shut down the 110, and they was trying to get a dog off the freeway. Yeah. So they was letting the traffic come from the 91 to the 110 to hop on, but they was stopping all the cars right there and shit. So we coming around the corner and shit, and motherfuckers trying to look at the uh, police rescue a fucking dog, and they motherfuckers start slamming on brakes. 
So it was a car in front of the car I was behind. They slammed on brakes. The car I'm behind slammed on brakes. I'm like, oh, shit. I slammed on brakes and slid into them. Bye. I said, oh, motherfucker. And the whole time I'm looking in my rear view to make sure I don't get cracked. I'm like, yeah. this is some fuck mm -hmm. shit here. Luckily, man, uh, the people were okay. We got out. We chopped it up or whatever. Uh, I gave them my insurance and shit. But they was like, man, this is a little bit more damage to your truck than the car ain't, ain't shit wrong with it. I was like, well, take my shit anyway, just in yeah. case. And I had to make sure that the family was cool. Yeah. It was an older Hispanic dude, his wife, his mom, and somebody else. So I'm like, it's older people. I'm like, yeah, trying to make sure everybody's straight and yeah. shit. I'm shaking and nervous and shit. I'm trying to go to my niece's uh, champagne party. Come on. I damn near got off the freeway and went back home. Like, shit. I'm like, this is some bullshit. Had a nigga fucked up yesterday, but I'm glad everything worked out yesterday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Glad everybody was cool. Come on. Shit happens. Holiday weekend, too, you know what I'm saying? Man. I'm like, shit happens, you know what I'm saying? Yep. But, hey, that's neither here nor there, but I'm glad the family is okay. Hey, man, y'all got anything else y'all want to talk about before we get out of here? Because, man, it's a motherfucking holiday weekend, bro. I got and I ain't got else. shit to do. Come on, man. I got work. Yeah, you got work. Yeah. Hey, man, if y'all don't know, man, we got the Dusty Joe kickback hour at what time, Joe? Fuck, I forgot. Five o'clock. Five o'clock on Big Ski. You know Radio. what? Last time I forgot to tell people. What? I forgot to say it's on Live 365 Big Ski Radio. Man. I forgot to tell people that. And they were asking me, <laughs> where is it? Hey, man, and we so, got nothing but the hits. Yeah, it's on Live 365 Radio. Just look up Big Ski Radio. Uh-huh. And it's right there. It's from five to nine for the first two hours to play oldies. Yeah. Uh, for the second half of the show, we play um, Latin hip hop. Yes, we do. So it's a little bit. Of, that's a little bit of everything for somebody. A little bit of something, you know. Hey, and it's it's the type of music that you don't hear nowhere else. Yeah. Sundays were made for Joe. Joe came up with a playlist that he hope y'all enjoy. I enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? It's some good shit, Joe. My hats off to you, bro. I'm not taking my hat off for real, motherfucker. It's just a saying, Joe. <laughs> no, nah, I actually cut my hair today, so I could do it. You some bitch, you. you I'm like, bro. you playing games, motherfucker. That's what you do. <laughs> my hat's off, man. Hey. hey, Sundays was made for Dusty Joe Kickback Hour. Hey, y'all fuck with it, man. I think if, if, you get, I think, I think, I think if they gave it a, a little listen, they'll like it. They, hey, Joe, they would definitely like it. So y'all fuck with the Dusty Joe Kickback Hour, followed by the Latin Hip Hop on Big Ski Radio every Sunday. Don't don't be nowhere else. Hey, man, also on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have unsigned hip-hop, man. We play in the best of your local artists, man. Shit is fire, so y'all fuck with it. Fuck with it. We also got music playing 24-7, so y'all tap in with Big Ski Radio, man. I do. So do I. I fuck with it. it it's refreshing, bro. The fucked up Come part on. is I try to fuck with it, but my building, I got bad signal. So I always lose signal at that work. That's the building, Joe. It's a party on the other side. That's fucked up. It's like it's a fucking cell tower right across the street. And I get right the, across the street. I get the worst fucking signal. Yeah, you That's need to get away from AT&T, bro. The, I know, The huh? tower is literally across the street. AT&T. Yeah, some bullshit, Joe. And you ain't got good service. Nope. Oh, well. Sucks for you. Football, bro. Hey, fuck man, on that fuck, note, man, we finna you. get the fuck up out of here, man. Hey, this your boy, Big Ski. That's your boy, Dusty Joe. Your boy, Neil Ray. Neil Ray in the building. Come on, man. Hey, I, I must say, man, I don't know if y'all noticed it, but I noticed it a long time ago. We all got black shirts on, man. Yeah, that's true. Is this our uniform? <laughs> oh, Joe fucked it up with some nice red writing. Man, fuck that, man. Hey, we're going to get out of here, man. Y'all enjoy y'all holiday weekend. Hey, thank y'all for fucking with us, man. These your boys, and we will be back. Come on, man. Peace.